So I just got off work, if you can't tell, <laughs> and I decided to make this video because two days ago I posted a status on my Facebook coming out of the closet and telling my friends and family that I'm gay. Um, I was responded with not, not the way I, I expected at all. Um, the status alone had uh, 91 comments, 94 likes. Never, never gotten any kind of response like that to anything I've posted throughout the years. Um, I got 15 Facebook messages, all long, detailed, extremely personal messages. Um, I got multiple texts and phone calls throughout the day my phone was blown up um, <laughs> five people decided to tell me that they males that they have a crush on me they've had one for a while <laughs> and decided to let me know now that I'm out of the closet flattered <laughs> um, I even had two girls message me and tell me that they were sad because they had crushes on me and that they never had the courage to tell me, which I don't know why. But, flattering again. Um, there's one message, though. One of the reasons why I'm making this video. That I got from a fellow active duty military member. Who I've worked with. Who's gay who I had no idea was gay, and I'm pretty sure everybody that I've worked with that's worked with this individual has no idea that he's gay. Um, he proceeded to tell me some of the struggles that he's had to go through, which are pretty similar to the ones I've gone through. And like I said, one of the reasons why I'm making this video. I want to explain the road that I've taken up until this point. I've known since seventh grade. Uh, tried to come out once before, freshman year in high school. Told two family members who didn't get a good response. Um, so I got scared, I recanted, came with some stupid story. And uh, yeah, pretending like everything was normal, nothing changed, you know, yada yada. In my head, I was thinking, it's just a phase I'm going through. You're stupid, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, and, you know, whatever. You know, I proceeded to live a normal life that I thought was normal. Um, did a couple girls, had sex with them too. Pretend like nothing is wrong. You know, kept going throughout the years. Had a few bumps in the road where, you know, got a little depressed, but it ignored it and kept going. Up until recently, um, on my last mission in the Middle East, not exactly sure what caused it, but I went through a pretty spiral downward depression. Um, to the point where, similar to the point I got to freshman year in high school, where um, I came to a realization that I couldn't keep lying anymore, but that I couldn't be honest with myself either, that there was no way that I could, you know, come out, there was no way that I could tell my family that there's, they would never accept it at all, that, at all, you know, and, uh, those who know me know that family is the most important thing to me. And uh, I couldn't, you know, foresee losing that. So I'm going to be vague about this, but you can read between the lines. I reached a point in my life where, like I said, I couldn't keep lying. So, but I couldn't be truthful either. So, you know, I thought at the time that the only option was to come up with a permanent solution 
to a temporary problem. Didn't, but thought about it. Which isn't just a thought for a lot of people that go through similar situations. It's something that a lot of people, a lot of good people, unfortunately, accomplish. It, it's stupid. It's extremely stupid. And unfortunately, we don't see it that way at going through that. Um, so I messaged one person, one person, while I was overseas, right before I came back home. And told them. And they were fine with it. They were beyond fine with it. It was an extremely 100% positive reaction. Somebody who's extremely religious, too. So I proceeded to tell two more people, extremely close to me. Both great responses. This was right before Christmas, right before I came home. I came home and decided to take Christmas as an opportunity to start fresh, to start a new year, New Year's resolution, per se, uh, and told all my immediate, very close family and friends, who all gave me an immensely positive reaction, every single one of them. Nothing changed. We still love you. Everything is the same. Um, so there you go. My life is great. Everything's fine. I can be honest with myself and, you know, all my family and friends, the people who actually, the main people who matter are there and they're fine with it. And I can live with that. Up until, you know, recently. That was a month ago. And uh, obviously, you saw my status. Uh, I got to a point where I thought about the people that, you know, go through the same thing. Who stay in the closet because of the fact that they're afraid to come out because of the fact that they're scared that they're going to lose their family that they're going to lose their friends they're going to be shunned you know have a rough life which honestly i'm expecting i'm blessed beyond blessed that the people who care about me are there 100 percent for me unfortunately people in society aren't as tolerant so I'm already expecting the road to be a little bumpy, but whatever. When is life not bumpy? It's full of roller coasters up and down. But the people who matter are there, and that's what counts. Um, and that's what I want to express to this person. And any other people who are going through the same situation that... Um, Suicide is not an option. It's not. You have so many people that care about you, whether you think you do or not. Because I didn't expect for 100 people on my Facebook page to support me. I thought I was going to, half of them were going to delete me. People who I thought were, you know, homophobic posted comments on how amazing I am and how much they support me. It blew me away. I couldn't believe it. And you may think you may get a negative response, which you might, but you don't know until you take the courage to come out. Because even if you do get a negative response, you have people that care about you. You have people that love you and you always will. I will always be there for you no matter what. It, you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. Like I posted in my status, this isn't a choice. I didn't choose this. I was born this way. That's who I am. It makes me unique. You know, if, if you love me, you know that. If you don't, oh well. I'm better off without you in my life. And you know what? It sucks. Society. Because... I love my country. I love the United States. Obviously, I'm serving in the United States military. I 
four years ago, let's see, four years ago, I raised my right hand and I said, I, Kevin Gillespie, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States <clears throat> and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. Four years ago. And a few months ago, I raised my hand, my right hand, and said the same thing again, to re-enlist for another six years. Which will bring me in my tenure mark, which I plan on doing 20. The same country that I love, the same country that I serve every single day, says that I can't get married in my home, home state of California. Same, same country that I love and serve says that <clears throat> according to the military, if I do get married in a state where same-sex marriage is legal, the military will not recognize it, and that, unfortunately, my significant other will not get the same benefits that any other married couple gets. But that's life. And all good things never come easy. Look at Rosa Parks. Look at Martha Luther King Jr. You, you think they just sat, sat behind and let them get discriminated? Yeah, you know, sorry, I'm not, I'm not good at speeches, but my point being is they stood up for what they believed in. They, they fought for what they believed in. Because there's nothing wrong with being a woman, being African American, being Hispanic, being an immigrant, being gay. I'm still a living, breathing human being. And I still love just like any other living human being. And... I plan on fighting for what I believe in. I plan on becoming, <clears throat> sorry, uh, <laughs> very active in the LGBT community. <clears throat> in the Declaration of Independence, it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Unfortunately, in our country, that's, all men are created equal except women, African Americans, minorities, poor. I mean, each, each person has had to fight for what they believe in. And it hasn't been easy roads. It hasn't. But the things that they have done have made this country what it is now. I know a lot of people don't like this particular individual, but recently President Obama, during his inauguration, said our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. I've never accepted who I was. It wasn't just being afraid of coming out. I was ashamed of who I was. I thought something was wrong with me. But there is nothing wrong with me. And like I said... I plan on being very active in the LGBT community. And I hope that the same family and friends that have supported me this far will continue to support me in this as well. Because, as you guys can have seen, <clears throat> with the American Cancer Society, when there's something that I truly believe in, 
I am extremely passionate about it. And now that not only am I open about it, but the fact that I've accepted it myself, that I love myself and who I really am, I am going to fight to make sure that I can get married in the state of California. That when I do get married in the state of California, that um, the military will recognize it. And that my spouse will get the same benefits that any other heterosexual married couple gets. And uh, to the individual who's going through the same problems. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Because there's nothing wrong with you. At all. And I know courage doesn't come easy. Trust me, I know. That status I posted two days ago was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. When I asked my immediate friends and family who I was out to about my idea to get some feedback, I asked three people. Those three people told me it's not a good idea. We love you. We support you. All your family and friends are here for you. Isn't that enough? I mean, you're able to be who you are. Why do you need to come out? You'll, you're trying to go officer. You might endanger your career. Um, not everyone's as open-minded as we are. Um, you know, you're trying to join the FBI when you get out of the military. You know, not everybody is as open-minded as we are. Nothing good comes easy. And if this somehow gets in the way of my officer package, this somehow gets in the way of me joining the FBI, then so be it. Because who cares? If that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. I want to show others that there's nothing wrong at all. At all. That you need to be who you are. You need to be true to yourself. And those people that are in the closet still, both active duty and civilians, I can't express to you how much um, A, suicide is not an option. And uh, B, you shouldn't have to hide. You shouldn't. There's sound like a broken record, there's nothing wrong with you. And uh, when you come out, I'll always be here for any one of you. And I think you'll be shocked to see that the people who truly love and care about you will be there for you as well. And those who aren't don't deserve to be in your life. So... That's my coming out video. That's my spiel on <clears throat> how I feel and how my future is going to go from this point on. And uh, you know, I'm sorry if those who are on my Facebook page you know, don't support me but don't agree with you know, gay rights that are going to see, you know, videos and, you know, statuses uh, that are geared towards gay rights. Like I said with my status, you gotta love me, you gotta love me for the person I am, and I'm a very passionate person, very passionate for what I believe in. So, <clears throat> if that's a problem, the delete button is right there. And uh, I hope that you can all support me on this new endeavor that I'm about to go on. 
And uh, I just want to thank every single person that sent me those amazing messages, that posted those amazing comments. <laughs> it, it blew me away. And it's definitely made me a very happy person, very honest, truthful person. Um, anyways, that's, that's my rant. Thank you, and uh, I love you guys.